Panama. 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 Aggressive AF when driving in downtown Panama City. Am I taking this right? Yes. All right. You can't. You can't cut no slack, and you gotta use your horn. Honk it, tourists. We just spent the last several minutes going in circles, trying to get around this one street. We made it through all the crazy traffic of rush hour Panama City. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as San Francisco. It's just a lot less march than I'm used to and the rules are loosey-goosey sometimes. But we made it and now I can get some shorts on. Some, some shorts. So when we were deciding where to stay in Panama, we decided to stay in a really interesting location for the majority of the time. But realizing that it was gonna be five and a half, six hours away, we figured the first night we'd stay in a different location. But we wanted something unique. So we're staying in a container. A container. I'll show you. He'll show you. We'll show you. Nosotros. Oh, God. What show you? Show you. Mo, most something. I can't remember. What you see is what you get. This place is not significantly large. In fact, I would say we're on more like a 20 or 15 foot container. But it starts off in the middle with La Cama. La Cama. We got a... Have you tried the La Cama? Yes. And is it like, comfortable? Oh, especially compared to, uh, you know, the, the hours of plane. Sonesta, remember the Sonesta Sweet bed? Oh, you mean that... That hard rock hard bed. Right. You know what they have for that? Oh! So this one's pretty good? This is soft. Nice. Um, okay. Got you know, a TV. We got us a an air, air conditioner. conditioner. I like the light. Yeah. And then uh, TV. over here. I, I like the exposed uh, actual container. Container. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will say that when I touch the wall, it's a little warm. But the air conditioning makes up for it, so it's okay. Warm wall. You got a little escritorio in order to get your escritorio on, you know, in case you need to do some trabajar. You, in uh, case you need to do some to work. Yeah, a little bit of that to work. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, you've got a highly functional Efficient? bathroom. Exposed pipes for their showers and just these like industrial knobs to turn on hot or cold, but it rains down on you like the showers I like. So, no for tall people, other than that, everything else is what you expect. Wizzy wig, you know what I mean? Hey, they brought gave us some uh, body wash so I don't have to smell like a man. And here's another amazing thing about this particular container, and that's the view. Show them that crazy boat. Okay, so not only do we get to see downtown Panama right outside our window, and yes, it's not like perfect. Like, these houses are not the most luxurious of all houses, but I think that's what I like about it. I like that we get some grittiness along with this, what the heck is this building? <laughs> 
<laughs> also, I'd just like to mention that the wiring around here is interesting. I do worry about a fire. I mean, not really, but you know, it's there. The light, the doorknob may explode and take out your eyeball. <laughs> Shush up. Uh, yeah, so, and we have a wardrobe as well. Wardrobe. It contains wars. Check this out. This is a container hotel, so there are many other containers, including, it looks like a cafe, which I have not gone to see if it's open. And then, yeah, just at the containers. We left out and got the yellow one instead of the black one. Yeah, nobody wants the black one. There's the car. They said our rental had to be a four by four in order to go over the, uh, over the mountain, over to the uh, Sandblast Islands. I hope this works. We'll see. We got a dope little cafe right over here. We were just talking about getting some food. I don't know if they're open. Yeah, I don't think they're open right now. But yeah, this container hotel is pretty dope. Just a series of uh, containers. So we're in a 40 foot container, but we only get half. So that's why. We're pretty smack dab in the heart of things when it comes to Pan Panama City. That building is insane. But we're right downtown. We're about five miles away from the canal, so we're gonna go check that out. One thing I gotta remember about Panama is that we are in the middle of a jungle at all times. So all that's just ready, waiting to take over this place. I know why you sing, Bird. I know. I know exactly why that bird sings. I totally almost stepped in that hole. I, at the last moment, jumped over it. Did not fall in the sewer hole. It was a very close call. I almost ate shit in that hole right back there. Like, it was gonna, that would have messed me up. And it smelled bad in that sewer, so. That would have sucked. But, yeah, Panama's pretty dope. It's uh, cool enough right now. I'd say it's like, I don't know, 79, 80, something like that. But uh, weather said it was gonna be raining the whole time we were down here. It's just like nothing but clouds and thunderstorms. Uh, but it's blue skies and beautiful. Gotta watch where you're going at all times. Sidewalk changes, the giant holes in the street. So option one was we drive super quickly to the Panama Canal, look at it for like five minutes before it gets dark and like miss anything like a museum or whatever. And that would have been fine. But option number two is walk to a place called Guancolón, question mark. 
uh, Panamanian street food, which, let's be honest, advertised on Google. But uh, I, they have 4.7 stars, and it looks delicious based on their video and pictures. And uh, let's walk around Panama for a little while, you know? Tortillas? It's, tortilla, it's corn patties. Uh, oh, patties. okay. That sounds fine. Talk about what we were served. We uh, just got a hot uh, chicken soup. Sorry. Yeah, I thought it was tea and it confused my mouth. It's salty and delicious. It is yeah. salty and delicious. I do <laughs> love it. Okay. Uh, Chris thought he couldn't eat here because all he was looking at was the pizza menu. Pizza yeah, pizza. no, but we're looking at Panamanian street food, El Menu. What is this? That is, um... Changa, the Changa? Changa con queso. Changa, changa con queso. Changa con queso. And this is chorizo and shrimp. Camarones y chorizo. Mm -hmm. And rice. What do you think so far? Oh, it's all really good. Good. Oh, very good. Chango con queso. For the win? That's great with all these sauces. Have you tried it with the sauces yet? I've tried it with two of them so far. Oh, you have? I didn't notice. We could just drink the tap water. And I got this rule that talks about uh, if your city was built before the 1900s, then I don't want to drink out of your pipes. What a Californian you are. How Californian of you, modernist. So she gave me crap about buying this bottle of water. 
purchasing water when we can easily drink the tap water. <clears throat> so anyway, I like the water. I think it was, it was delicious. Not as delicious as this. It went well with my drink. Just drink four of these. I'm just saying, when in Rome, don't drink the water. Hey, Charlie.